Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone, and today's video I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to stop the Xenia emulator from crashing so much. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you would like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, if you guys are using um, NVIDIA, um, if you're using a NVIDIA control panel, um, not even very control fan. The video graphics card. I suggest you guys to basically update your drivers first before you use this method, and then after you update your drivers to um, whatever up to date driver they have, when you check on the video website, um, then you can do this method. My first, but first, I suggest you guys always go to the NVIDIA control panel. And when you're in the video control panel, always set when you get right here, set it to 1050. Now, do keep in mind that if you have a more up-to-date graphics card, you may have more settings. And if you're using this on on a PC, you're gonna have more um, options to mess around. But if you're using a laptop, the options are limited. But at the same time, it's also a good thing that your options are limited. Um, just image settings with preview. I always choose performance and then apply that. Of course, you can scale it to the middle or all the way to quality, but I suggest performance because performance is king. Always use the video processor. Now, the default settings are good. They do have um, settings you can change that are very good for emulation, like I mentioned plenty of times before. VSync. Um, resolution, texture, max frame rate, stuff like that, as you can see in typical emulators from RPCSG, Yuzu, and even these things help Xenia also. So you can disable it, turn it on. Now here's basically the same old using the video. Uh, these are just basically global settings. It's the same thing as the first one, but basically do the same thing as what you did before. And then you add, I'm actually gonna add the Xenia emulator apply to that then you close that off open up the Xenia emulator and you're basically good to go so that's usually one of the ways that you can fix the Xenia emulator from crashing so much so yeah that's basically about it if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like share and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel Hey, yeah, guys, this is your boy Braytone. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.